Problem number 38. Find the time t in years to double your money if $600 is invested at 8% compounded monthly by choosing the appropriate formula. Okay, so the key word is compounded monthly. So whenever they say uh, they give us a time period for the compounding, we know it's going to be A equals P, parentheses 1 plus R over N to the NT. So the only time it's the other formula, the PERT formula, is if it says continuously. Like on number 37, it says continuously, and that's how you would know it's the PERT formula. In this case, it says monthly, so you would use this formula here. So monthly means N is equal to 12. If it said annually, N would be 1. Um, if it said semi-annually, N would be 2. And if it said quarterly, N would be 4. Okay, so monthly is every month, so N is 12. We have $600, so that's going to be our P. So our P is 600. That's the original amount invested. Okay, and it says 8%. That's our interest rate, so 0 0.08. Okay, so let's plug everything in. So we have 600 for the P, parentheses 1 plus R is 0 0.08. And then n is 12, and then here we have 12t. Now, what about a? Well, it says double our money. So if we have $600 and we want to double our money, a should be 1,200. Good stuff. Okay, let's work this out carefully. So this is 1,200. We have to find t equals 600. And I'm going to put this in my calculator and see what I get. So let's see. I'm going to type it in. 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12. Okay, I got a very long decimal, so uh, I'm going to write out a couple digits. So this is 1.00, uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a couple sixes here, 667, okay, to the 12t. Just to be safe, I'll use a couple digits. We have to find uh, the t, so the next step would be to divide by 600. So divide by 600, divide by 600, so we end up with 2 equals parentheses 1.00667 to the 12t. And the reason we did that is because we want to isolate this piece here. So now we can solve for t by taking the ln of natural log of both sides. So natural log of 2 equals natural log of 1.00667 to the 12t. And the reason we do that is because now what we can do is use the power rule, power rule for logs. right? You can take this and you can put it in the front. So this ends up being the natural log of 2 equals 12t times the natural log of 1.00667. And we're almost done. We are almost there. We're looking for t. So the last thing to do is divide by all of this stuff. So 12 natural log 1.00667. And then same thing here. 12 natural log 1.00667. Boom, boom. And so we end up with little t equals the natural log of 2 over and then 12 natural log. 1.00667. Now, when you put this in your calculator, you have to have extra parentheses here, possibly, right? So be really, really careful. I'm going to type it in and we'll see what we get. So, let's see, 12 times natural log 1.00667, parentheses, parentheses. Okay, uh, how many decimals does it want? It says tenths place. So, tenths is uh, one decimal. So t is approximately equal to, so one decimal would be 8.7, and it wants the units, so 8.7 years, 8.7 years. So that's it. So that's the answer. Um, I hope this video uh, has been helpful.